Stephen Yanni here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a 67 Chevy Siva. In other words, that's reverse of Nova. Uh, in Spanish, Nova means it doesn't go. Well, this one does go. So again, Siva. Uh, this car is a two-door hardtop, beautiful little car. Love the light blue medium paint. Power comes from a 383 small block Chevy with Edelbrock E210 aluminum cylinder heads. That, of course, means these have 210 cc intake port volumes, which is significantly larger than even the best fuel-y head found on a Chevy iron engine back in the 60s. Single plane intake manifold, <clears throat> Holly double pumper four barrel carburetor. Double pumper, of course, means that primaries and secondaries get a shot of the gas when you jump off the line for even better acceleration. Got to love the aftermarket aluminum cross flow radiator. Uh, no fan to uh, drag the engine and draw power, so there's an electric fan doing that job. But again, uh, billet aluminum pulleys, low mount alternator, uh, just nice attention to detail here. I love how the engine bay is painted blue to match the body, and just what a nice uh, attention to detail we have going on here. Hooker Super Competition headers, uh, sort of a, a Monte Carlo bar if it was a Ford, but again, a, a strut stiffener here. And this does have the standard uh, original front suspension with control arms and uh, coil springs, which is fine. It's very much up to the task of, uh, of uh, handling fairly well and driving. So it's, it's a nice sort of day two kind of a hot rod. Uh, I love the hood. This is a cowl induction style hood. <coughs> Nothing that actually came from the factory, but it's steel. It's a modern what-if item, not fiberglass, so it's nice and sleek and smooth. And again, a steel cowl induction hood. <clears throat> These are readily available from the aftermarket, but here's the uh, area underneath. So just nice attention to detail on this one. Uh, the wheels are Kreger SS mags, and you can take your side. We'll talk about them. We see that these have uh, skinny front tires, Mickey Thompson, uh, DOT radials up front, skinnies for uh, low rolling resistance, long wheel studs on this so you'll be legal at the drag strip, front and rear, Willwood manual disc brakes up front. That'll stop this car quite nicely. But just a beautiful, tasteful car. I love the black vinyl top. You know, back in the 60s, vinyl tops were for Buick Electra 225s and Chrysler Imperials, but they add a touch of class. And now, vinyl tops have kind of come back in vogue, and the blue and black on this car is just mouthwatering. Inside, <coughs> This one has the bench seat, nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Bucket seats were certainly possible on Nova Super Sports, but this one's a standard Nova with uh, the bench, nothing wrong with that at all. Nicely preserved interior. I dare say this might well be the original upholstery on these seats, original patterns and all of that. The original steering wheel, nice to see that. Uh, standard uh, dashboard with aftermarket gauges. Got a, uh, auto meter gauges, oil pressure, water temperature, volts, <clears throat> B&M ratchet shifter on the floor here with a reverse pattern first, second drive, turbo 400 automatic transmission. So this car is built for cruising and accelerating hard in a straight line. Uh, although I'm sure it's fully capable of being driven normally on, on daily situations. Uh, not a road racer, but that's okay. Uh, there's more to life than cornering, and I'm more of a drag race guy myself. So this is a great dual purpose car, Friday Night Killer, and also a uh, just a great cruiser. Uh, suspension wise in the rear, before we open the trunk, we see mono leaf springs, which are factory stuff with with Caltrax traction bars, which give you the best of both worlds. Aluminum cover on the differential, good to see. Mickey Thompson DOT radial slicks on this one. So again, it'll handle nicely, go around corners on like a wrinkle wall drag slick, old school, which is kind of wobbly. This will go around a corner just fine, but hook great in a straight line. <clears throat> Gotta love the uh, chrome work on the bumper. The die cast emblem at the tail, the Chevy 2, just nicely presented car all the way around. Okay, moment of truth. How's the trunk compartment? Yeah, nice. Blacked out with uh, perhaps bed liner. It's good rugged stuff. I don't see any signs of patchwork. It looks just nice and solid. Uh, fire extinguisher, nice thing to have, you never know. Little assembly manual in place, right rear corner has a battery, yep, little touch of the drag race, putting weight from the nose toward the back of the car, increases static and dynamic weight distribution for an um, even stronger launch. So a nice example right here of a 67, sort of a day two giant killer. Now back in the day, L79 Novas were known for being uh, brutal enemies of street Hemis. They were small, had big engines, well those had 327s, 
7s. This has a 383 with aluminum heads, the double pumper carburetor, probably a 12 second car easily right here. So it's a great little piece. And keep in mind, High Octane Classics does offer financing. So if you want to buy this car with as little as 10% down, that's possible. And they do take trades, classics, daily drivers, you name it, wings, wheels, anything's considered. And they will deliver to your house, your school, wherever you'd like. And High Octane Classics is going on 12 years in business. And they're always looking for more additions to the crew, service and sales, and also vehicles to buy. Whether you have one or 50 cars, uh, run them by the folks here at High Octane Classics. Give them a call at 508 859 4515. And to learn more about this 67 Day 2 Chevy Street Race Special, uh, check it out on the High Octane Classics website.